Hi, hola, como estas? Hi, good morning. Uh, okay, it's good morning here. So, hi guys. I'm back with a word. I'm back. It's a girl, Crystal Penny. I don't know. Anytime I'm here to share the word, or anytime I'm here on YouTube, <laughs> it's kind of messed up. But you know, we don't care about that. We care about the word more. So we just got straight to the word. So today, I'm coming to share the word what the Lord's giving me. I went to church, I think, last week, and they gave me a word. I wanted to share it on that same day, but I was like, no, let me do it on my off day. So today, I'm here to share the words. So anybody who's going to share this word is sharing a good thing. Anybody who's going to receive this word has received a good thing. Anybody who's going to tell this word is telling a good thing. Anybody who wants to do whatever that you want to do with this word I'm about to share, it's going to be a blessing. So with better much ado, let's go straight to the word of God. There's a lot, you know, and I've written the quotation, like, I made a lot of notes. So. So, for me not going to the Bible and, you know, me messing up and stuff. So, I'm just going to write it all on the paper. Like, this is my my journey, my Bible journey. Yeah. So, let's go straight. Don't mind me. Don't mind. Let's go straight to it. <laughs> ah, this is funny. Okay. And it says, single but not alone. Most people's go to marriage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Yes. Yay! Yeah, we on it. I'm so excited to share this word because it's simple and nice and it's touching and it's, it's a blessing. So we'll first read of the book of john 6 1 verse 3 it says after this jesus crossed over to the far side of the sea of galilee also known as the sea of tiberias verse 2 it says a huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his marvelous sign as he healed the sick Verse 3 it says, Then Jesus climbed a hill and sat down with his disciples around him. So, this is about a crowd and a disciple. Which one are you? Are you going to be a spiritual consumer or a spiritual contributor? So, everything is about Jesus, not our life or the style we're living or our living. Everything is about Jesus. Because when Jesus when when Jesus healed the sick, most of them were following him. That was the crowd. The crowd chases the spiritual crowd. And we have the spiritual contributor, that is the, uh, the disciples. So which one are you? Are you the crowd chaser, the one that is looking for material things from God? The one that, okay, I've seen God is healing. I've seen this pastor is doing some wonders, some prophecies. So you are going for it. Or you, you are the one that is going to be like, no, I'm going to sit in for the word. I'm going to sit in for God's love. I'm going to sit in and do what the disciples are doing. Because the, the disciples wasn't the crowd. They were the followers. They are the one that sat with Jesus, they ate with Jesus, they laughed with Jesus. They were the one who wanted to understand Jesus. They wanted to know where he's coming from. They wanted to know his God. They wanted to know more about him. But the crowd wanted, you know, material things. Okay, we saw you here with a sick, so we want you to be our king. We want you to feed us because he fed them with bread and fish. So they were like, okay, no, we want you to be our kid. We want to follow you wherever you because of the signs of wonders and because of the healing, the miraculous things that Jesus was doing. But Jesus wasn't here for that. He was here to gain followers, to gain uh, spiritual contributors, not crowd contributors, you know. So 
make you know make less of you and make more of jesus that is what the word is saying and more of you more of you consumes you and makes you empty but more of jesus makes you happy and makes you you know want to hear more about god want to hear you know the words of god what god is doing what god is doing in somebody's life because there are some people when god blesses somebody or the year prophecy about somebody you know they get annoyed oh, when is my coming when is this but no you have to be happy for somebody because you don't know maybe you'll be happy for that person's prophecy to manifest yours is on the way coming so which one are you for the world are you are you are you the spiritual consumer or the spiritual contributor so it says we are the disciple of jesus we are here God brought us here to be a disciple, to be examples, to follow what the disciples were doing, to continue what they were doing. So we are not here to, you know, make babies or find love and do, no, but we are here to also, you know, follow, finish what the disciples didn't finish on earth. That is here we are here from. So we we all follow Jesus because of us, because we need money, because we need shelter, because we need this car, this material things. But we are not following God because He is God alone, because He is all by Himself, because there was none that could be compared to Him. But we follow Him because we need this from Him. Okay, God, I see you doing this for this one now. I need mine now, bro. I need it. <laughs> oh, Jesus is not a machine. I need my bro Jesus. <laughs> so every see everybody matters to God. Everybody matters to God. So we we asking material thing things that you know are already in us, but it is us to manifest it through prayers. That is the crowd, the, the spiritual crowd, the the crowds. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. Yeah, the spiritual consumers. I mean. We ask too much of God than we asking God, God, are you okay? God, are you fine? God, I love you. Like having time, God. Sometimes it's difficult. It's difficult. Like you coming from away. And I'll be like, oh, I need to read my Bible. But, you know, I see myself watching the movie. But it is not bad. God doesn't hate me for that. But to be, to be frank, you have to have more time for God. More time for God than yourself. Because I used to be one. I used to be. For the crowd for the consumer spiritual consumer but now i have found him i found his name i found that he's the savior of my life i found him that he died for my sins and was for my justification so i'm on earth to be his disciple i'm on earth to finish what he couldn't accomplish even though he accomplished or but what he left or what he 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 left for me to do the assignment he had for me to do so we are the church. When people say we are the church, not like that church, but we make the church. Without our, without us going to the church, we is not church. So we make an example. When you're going to church, it doesn't mean okay you have to dress night, okay, it's not for the word, but to receive the word and share the word. Like what I'm doing now. This is from church and to me, I was like, okay, this is very good, and this is very good message. Why don't I share it to my fellow people? Because this is very touch. When I when I got, it, I was like, oh God, people are gonna love this way. People are gonna love you more because of this way. And I don't know, but I pray God for this way. I thank God for letting me go to this church to receive this word. See, we are the church, so let us look like one. Let us look like one, a disciple. Let us look like the disciple going to church, receiving the word and sharing it to people. And not receiving the word, but letting it sit down. But, no, you know, let the word manifest. Speak it. When a pastor speak to you, when, it's, uh, I'm sorry, when a pastor speak to you, you speak to the people. Be the disciple. Because he's, all, he's, he's a disciple in the church. So you will be the disciple outside the church. God is calling us to serve the church, to be ushers, to do his work, to do, you know, my church is like 30 minutes away, so I have to drive to church, but you know, I always make it, even though it's impossible to make, no, I have to go to church, even though I don't feel like it, no, even for the word, 
no let him say because you don't know where god will come i want i want god to come then i'll be sitting in the church listen to his word writing notes to share to the world to share to the world i mean so wherever we gather in his name we are church not the club ones wherever we gather in his name we are the church we are the examples of the disciples so let me read this book romans 12 verse 6 verse 8 it says in his grace god has given us different gifts for doing certain things well so if if god has given you the ability to prophesy speak out with as much faith as god has given you if your gift is to saving others serve them well if you are a teacher teach well if your gift is to encourage others be encouraging if it is given you give gen give generally generously i'm sorry if god has given you leadership ability take take this take that responsibility seriously and if you have a gift for showing kindness to others do it gladly everybody has a gift not a gift of singing not a gift of yeah okay i know how to make bags now but the gift that god has given us to be kind everybody is kind if you are a person you, you give it says in the word of romans 12 6 verse 8 when you read verse, verse 6 to 7 i'm sorry verse 6 to 8 you know how god wants you to use your gift not a gift of dancing singing but a gift of love a gift of grace a gift of prophecy a gift of saving a gift of giving and a gift of kindness God made every, every everyone different in his gifting. As God made everybody different. Mine is kindness. Somebody's own is let's say okay, I go to a coffee shop and okay, I was trying to eat the bread and it bumped on my shirt and it fell and somebody will be like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so that is a gift of kindness. Like she's showing you love or something like that. And when somebody somebody is gonna be like, that is a stupid idea. You know that you're supposed to do it like this. So, yeah, that is a gift that to you know to encourage you or to comfort you. But there's some people who's gonna tell you the truth, or some people are gonna tell you the lie. That, oh, it's fine, it's fine. But that's a gift of also kindness too. Some people's own is like. Oh, okay oh it's okay i'm just gonna do the same thing to you okay we all gonna be a mess yeah that's a, that is the, the comforter you know the one who comforts you because he's also doing the real thing you just did everybody has a gift of love also different types of gifts to to make you calm to make you understanding to make you know that okay you're special too see so god make everybody different in their gifting we don't volunteer to serve god because volunteer means okay i can do it whenever i want to do it we don't volunteer we serve serving we don't volunteer i serve the lord so we serve him together we must serve god everywhere school work you know be that disciple everywhere you go in my workplace if you're a nurse be be it over there be a disciple, be a pastor, be a prophet. Oh, did I say prophet? Oh my god, oh. be a prophet. <laughs> see, do what God see. We have gifts. You being a pastor doesn't mean you, you need a church now. Even if you're in a courtroom, even if you're in a hospital, even if you're in your workplace, yes, you're still a prophet. Prophesy over there, share the word of God, be a disciple of God, be the spiritual contributor. let's serve god together jesus is not looking for followers but disciples you think you posting okay you posting god's word means you you need a follower i don't need follow that's why sometimes instagram when i post a picture i delete the the likes because i'm not i'm not there for likes i just share whatever i want to share i just post whatever i want to post not for people's like god is not looking for follower he's looking for disciples People that will you know, listen to it, sit with him, eat with him, invite him, and share his word. 
no people was gonna oppose the you know just follow him here and here without no lesson the word but you know are waiting for miracles and material things from him let me read uh, matthew 5 13 verse 16 it says you are the salt of the earth but what god what what's good what's good is salt it has lost its flavor can you make it salty again it will be torn out and trampled on the food as worthless verse 14 it says you are the light of the world like a city on a high top that cannot be hidden that is god talking to you that you are the light of the world so shine, shine among others. Make people know that you are the disciple of God. He says you are the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No, listen to the first 15. He said, no one's light a lamp and put it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives the light to everyone in the house. So be that light. Verse 16, he said, in the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see that, for, for all to see, so that everyone will praise your Father in heaven. So that everybody will praise your heavenly Father. Be the light. Do what it says according to the Bible. That it says that you are the light of the world. It says nobody lights you know, a lamp and puts it under the basket, but they put it on the stand for it to be a bright thing brighten light for everybody to receive so be the light of god be the one that shines everywhere you go set an example be the disciple that makes a difference that is what i'm trying to make here so I, therefore i'm praying to god that he should make us know his word to know whatever that he has prophesied to his word that we receive it and we know and we stand on it to work with it to share with it and to help people with it. I pray, Father, thank you for your word. We pray that Lord will be the spiritual contributor, but not a crowd consumer. Bless us with your word. Bless us. Let us know you more. Let us love you more. Direct us and let us love you more, Lord. Therefore, we give you praise for giving us this word. We bless you. Thank you for being with us and being with our spirit. I give you praise, Holy Spirit. Bless the people that is listening to this word. Encourage them. Let them know that you are God over your son, that you are in every situation that they are now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, bless us and keep us till we cross over, till we, till we enter into new year in the name of Jesus. We bless God. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to stand and let you know that. Be. A spiritual contributor, but not the crowd. Jason, God bless you. You have a good day.